Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a deck review video all about the Trick or Treat Tarot. Okay, I hope you guys can see this okay. I wanted the, I wanted to capture the cute little setup that I have. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the Trick or Treat Tarot. This one is a deck that I purchased online and um, <clears throat> it's one that I'd never seen before, but I had seen a couple readers um, showing it off and I was like I need to get my hands on this so this is the box the box is like has a really satiny feel to it and <clears throat> it's a 78 card tarot deck the guidebook is a little white book of course so your typical little white book um, and the cards gorgeous black and um, black and orange background you have little pumpkins you have cats you have bats stars just the whole everything that you would ever love or want <clears throat> about a tarot deck now the cards themselves the card stock is rather thin it's very bendy so it's easy to shuffle which I actually prefer in a deck um, anything that is simple to shuffle makes it that much better. So let's go ahead and let's give it a good shuffle. And so as you can see, it shuffles really nicely. <laughs> um, okay, the cards themselves have borders, but they're very, like, very simple, okay? the borders actually kind of go with the whole card themselves so um i don't think it's one that would bother those of you who are not fans of <clears throat> um, borders but you have the number here so every card has the number except for the, the court cards obviously but they'll have the number of the card at the very top sorry my camera is <clears throat> I have it flipped the opposite way so that it's clearer in the in the film. So if I'm a little if I'm a little off with <laughs> with the cards, it's because I'm trying to make sure I get it in the camera. Um, and then there's also the title of each card at the very bottom of the card. So the major arcanas, and then you have like the minor arcana. It'll tell you what suit it is. <clears throat> so this one is wands. But it'll also say, you know, the number. So the themes, oh, the general images of the cards, some of them follow Rider weight. Like, for instance, this is the Six of Swords. So it somewhat follows the Rider weight imagery, but some of them don't. And I, I think that that's actually really nice. Look at this Knight of Cups. <laughs> I think it's kind of nice when they don't follow because it gives you a chance to really play with your intuition. Um, <clears throat> each of the cards displays some sort of a Halloween-y monster or some sort of <clears throat> Halloween character. There really is no specific theme. Like, for instance, the cups. You really don't see too much of the same suit. Like, the same little... How do I want to say this? So the cups, there's no cups really. You don't really see the cups, okay? <clears throat> the wands may be here in this image. In the five of wands, you'll see them holding, you know, the object. But this is the ten of wands. You really don't see the wands. You just see the imagery, like the meaning of ten of wands, which is like you're, you're carrying a lot of stress on your back. So obviously you have this little creature here carrying his bag of treats. <laughs> So that's what I mean is like there's no, um, like just because it's a wands suit doesn't mean you're going to see the wands in all of the cards. Um, but each card has its own personality. You have a little character, the, the court cards, um, the suits don't all match. So you have like a page of swords, you have this like little bat creature here but he doesn't repeat himself in like the king and queen. So that's what I'm saying is like, it's every card is different. So let's just keep it that way. <laughs> every card is different. You have a beautiful imagery. 
not so much cartoony, but like some of them have cartoonies, but then some of the pictures are actually like, it kind of reminds you of collage work. So it's kind of like a blend between the two. It has a vintage feel to it as well. So you get that like vintage Halloween feel. But then at the same time, like this one, she's she's cartoony, but then the imagery in the back is more real. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain that. <laughs> but I just thought it was so clever. So clever. Um, it's one that if you are a fan of Halloween stuff, you're going to love this deck. Um, it reminds me of like a real version of the Halloween tarot. So the Halloween tarot, you have like the characters that are, it's all cartoon. It's like a pure cartoony tarot deck. This one has imagery that is both cartoon, um, but it's also both real as well. So you have like just different characters. Look at the witches. This is the eight of wands, which is eight of wands is, is typically all about, sorry, like I said, I'm trying to get used to the camera. <laughs> Eight of Wands is all about like the wand suit is going all in one direction. You're aiming forward, so you have all of the witches doing the same thing. Here's the Two of Cups. So you have a rather weird set of characters here. Lovers. <clears throat> Here's the King of Swords, so you have an owl. I thought that was clever to depict a creepy little owl for the King of Swords. Love it. This is the Ace of Pentacles. So like I said, some of the cards follow the Rider weight, Some of them don't. <clears throat> I don't want to show you guys all of them because if you choose to purchase this deck, I want it to be special and like a nice experience for you, for you guys to enjoy. But I wanted to just share that with you. Share with you the cards. I feel like a lot of you who were seeing them on my Instagram page <clears throat> you were really curious about the deck and so this is for you guys um i'm going to link at the bottom where you can actually purchase um this deck so if you are interested in purchasing it i will put a link there so that you can enjoy for yourselves your own version of the trick-or-treat tarot by duck soup and like i said it's a full-blown 78 card tarot deck gorgeous imagery colors are really dark it's a dark themed deck and it comes with a little white book so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys soon bye my loves